all is not well on the Edsa busway. Passenger queues are getting longer at loading and unloading stops with fewer buses on the route. The LTFRB is threatening to cancel special permits to operate of two bus consortiums for failing to provide enough buses on the EDSA busway. During the A-Media briefing, LTFRB Chairman Martin Delgar III revealed that show cost orders have been issued to two bus consortiums with special permits to operate on the EDSA busway to explain why they are failing to provide sufficient number of buses on the route. Chairman Delgra said the low turnout of buses on the EDSA busway has led to long queues at EDSA Monumento. Under these special permits given to the two bus consortiums, they can deploy at most 550 buses on the route. However, the LTFRB found out that the two consortiums only deploy an average of 150 units a day, with the number going as low as 120 buses. At the same time, the LTFRB has been receiving reports of complaints from drivers and conductors of not getting paid for their services. Chairman Gallica III said the operators have already received payment for participating in the service contracting program. With the metro now at alert level 3, more people are expected to be moving around. The Edsa busway should be operating at optimum levels to meet the increased demand for transport. <laughs>